Welcome back, everybody, to the worst undrafted free agent quarterback series. This is going to be the final episode of this series as we saw Martin Manicle lead the Carolina Panthers to a Super Bowl championship last episode. It was a pretty fantastic Super Bowl run for the Carolina Panthers. We played some great defense in these games, but Martin Menekel also played really well, especially in that NFC Championship game. This experiment definitely surprised me. I thought there was a pretty good chance you could take a quarterback and get them developed if you gave them the focus training and if you just simply played them for a long time. But when everything comes together so perfectly, I was shocked to see just how much progress you could make in a short amount of time. As an undrafted rookie, Martin Menekel wins the Super Bowl after a ton of upgrades this year and one of the most impressive runs here on the channel. It's a lot of fun to do these rebuilds, to just manage the team and to create these scenarios and just see what happens. I've played a ton of Madden over the years, as everybody knows, but I've had so much fun these last couple of years playing the role more of a general manager and letting the games kinda just play out and letting the players handle everything. I think it's a really fun way to play the game and if you're thinking about trying it out on your own, I think you'd have a lot of fun with it if you enjoy series like this or my rebuilds I've done with the Browns, Cardinals, and now Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So we will be moving on to something new soon, something I think will be smaller, mostly because I don't think what I'm going to try next is going to be all that successful. But if it gets a couple laughs for a video, it's totally worth it. But we'll get to that before too long. Today we wrap up the series, and we're going to do so by doing some simulating. I think everybody now wants to see what's next for Martin Menekel, but we're not going to drag the series on and do a bunch more episodes. I am going to do a bunch of simulating today, and we'll just go through each year and track his progress. And my thing now, what's interesting to me in this video is going to be... How much better does Menekel get? Because in one year, it's hard to get more progress than he got. His true overall is a 64. That's 15 overall jumps in one year. He's still only 22 years old, and he can still get a lot better. So now can Menekel go to the Hall of Fame? That's the question we'll answer today. I guess as we sim to the offseason, Menekel has another upgrade point. It goes up to 68! So really, he's a 65 overall right now. Deep accuracy is going up. Now, one thing I kind of want to manage here is I will take kind of a step back for the overall series at this point, but I want to make sure this team doesn't replace Menacle. That can't happen. I guess I'll handle a couple final things here for the team. I'll try to re-sign Kenny Bruce to a three-year deal. I did sim the rest of free agency, and they didn't replace Menacle, so that's a good sign. Once I get him to like 75 or better overall, I won't be too worried about it. But overall, I don't see me managing the roster a whole lot more. I kind of want to get these sims going now. I also scouted this draft class, so I might as well give them one more draft and then kind of let the team go. So we're going to start here, pick 32 of the first round. We'll select Sean Wilbur, a solid offensive lineman. That'll help protect Menacle. Wilbur, 76 overall, normal development, perhaps can take over for Tom Walner. Not a bad pick there. Now in the second round, we're going to address safety with Sean Bentley. It looks like the team's going to have a couple new starting safeties this year. Bentley has hit in development. He's six foot four, 90 speed and 76 zone coverage. Now we're going to draft run stopper Steven Cruz. We don't have a ton of needs on this roster. Hidden development though. Last offseason was incredible. Already a couple more hidden dev players here. Why not? I don't think I've quite seen a skill set like this for a, a hidden dev player, at least in this game. 6'5", 286. So, bigger than most ends, but smaller than a lot of defensive tackles. And, hidden development for a run-stopping skill set 
but there's potential with the power moves at 72. Really interesting player here. I don't think I've seen too many like Steven Cruz. My draft board's already empty? Like, completely? Alright, in that case, I think it's time to let the CPU take over. I am retiring mid-draft. My work here is done. The highest rated player drafted after that was Lenny Witherspoon, outside linebacker. So now, my role essentially is going to be, make sure they don't replace Martin Menicle, and then just see what happens. One thing I will do is make sure that Martin Menicle stays a focus player and try to get that overall up quickly so I don't have to worry about the game trying to replace him at all. I guess it's time to upgrade Martin Menicle once again. 66 overall before taking the field in his second season. I think now I'll sim seasons at a time and we'll see where year two goes for Menicle. Unfortunately, there's really nowhere to go but down. Alright, to the end of the year, we don't have a wildcard game, and I didn't sign the practice squad players here, or that didn't happen automatically, so the Panthers go 12-4. and four. We do a little bit worse this season, no 13-3. and three. We had the 14th ranked offense, and the number 7 defense. Alright, so what do we do this year? Martin Manicle, 34 touchdowns and 10 picks. Unfortunately, not quite as good as his rookie campaign, and I must need the turn upgrading to auto because he made the Pro Bowl, he has 8 upgrade points here. So I shouldn't have to worry about him being replaced pretty much now. Incredible. I'm going to put most of these into strong arm and field general until all the accuracies are like in the 90s. At that point, he'll be pretty much set for the rest of his career. And we can work on some of the secondary ratings that you see me upgrade for like Tyrus Sparks in the Buccaneers series. This is so weird though to have an experiment set up in a way where it's supposed to be difficult to succeed. And we certainly had struggles in this series for a long time. But then when we had success, like, it was the weirdest success of the entire channel. I don't know, this is right up there, I think, with Perry Cummings becoming the superstar of the Browns, only he was supposed to be good. Martin Menicle was a 49 overall. Not anymore. He's now really a 75. Keep in mind, I've been playing this on 98 XP for quarterback, which actually... In my tests, I like 97 a little bit more. Yes, the 1% seems to matter. I run through a bunch of 10-year sims, and I compare the number of players in certain overall tiers, and I've done quite a few of these tests. I do more every now and then to get the numbers a little bit better, but this has been happening on lower-than-default quarterback settings regardless. And actually, running back needs to be a little bit higher from my tests. Let me update my XP sliders here. I know some of you will wonder the uh, values for this. These are, of course, subject to change, but overall, I have liked messing with these values and running tests to see what is good long term. But uh, every series, every league is going to be different because you can end up with a couple X factors that really change the game. And if you end up with like a loaded class at a certain spot or a couple classes that are super strong at one position, it can take your league in a different direction. And that is okay. I think you see this all the time in the NFL. What with all the great young quarterbacks that have entered the league in the last decade. What with all the receivers now as teams can easily go three deep and have excellent options. And also on the flip side, less offensive line options, meaning defensive lines generally have an advantage in the NFL. By the way, Rashad Shear did not have a phenomenal year, but 800 plus yards, five touchdowns is all right. For the receivers, Quinton Boone had a really nice season. And it looks like we have a new tight end on the roster, Earl Lawton from UCF in his fifth season, normal dev 27 years old. Not bad, I like the ratings here a lot. 84 speed, 84 catching, and decent route runnings for the tight end position. 
Martin Manacle was top 10 for MVP, but did not win it. Want to see if he got any more awards. Fifth for Offensive Player of the Year, Lewis Edwards did take the defensive title. And best quarterback, he's in third place. We advanced to the Super Bowl, and this year we're not a part of it, sadly. So no back-to-back -back in Super Bowl 69. Let's see how the year finished for us then. We made it to the second round before Philadelphia defeated us. What happened here in this playoff loss? Menical, three touchdowns, no picks. Hard to put the loss on him, I'd imagine. Joseph Green, three touchdowns, 6.6 .6 a carry. He had a pretty nice day. Oh, and did Menical's development change at all he did have 34 touchdowns and he's still star dev but with all this progress in two years i still think he has a chance to reach the 90s and beyond well i guess we're going to see how much the cpu is going to wreck this team i built one of the best teams i think i've put together here on the channel but that's just how it kind of goes here. To me, the series is kind of already done. This is just the epilogue and a way to let us see progress for an individual or a few players that we've become attached to. So I'm not too worried about the CPU kind of undoing all of the construction to the roster. But I'd like them to at least wait a few years before completely ruining the foundation of this team. So let's take a look. Martin Menical's still here, so are the top three wideouts. Quinton Boone, superstar, that definitely went up. Offensive line, looking good. I don't have too many complaints with the offense, none actually. And then for the defense, apparently Snow is not starting here over Joe Overton. I might have to fix that a little bit. And Bentley should maybe be starting. We have Miner. We have three decent safeties here. But Miner's 24, and Bentley is definitely faster and a 77 at 23. So he should be playing. The one player that is definitely missing here is Alejandro Martinez. And also, I did not check retirements after the last year. Through another season, and it looks like we're back in the playoffs with a 13-3 record this year. All right. So Martin Manical, 13, 12, and 13 wins. Oh, and he's second in passing yards and first in touchdowns. He's got to get the superstar boost here, or even X-Factor potentially. Why is it not using the skill points? I guess I have to figure out which setting I don't have set to auto. I thought I fixed that. But Martin Manical getting closer to the 80s for overall here in year three. And the XP necessary to improve is definitely up significantly. So I think he will get that development boost and that'll be nice and should certainly help. 82 overall now with the morale boost. And here's a look at his ratings. Unbelievable. Rashad Sheard had more touchdowns. We just can't get him over for a carry. I do not get it. Like, the running back system in this game, like how to have success at running back. I still haven't figured it out, and no one's more motivated to figure it out than me. Boone and Lawry had amazing years. Childress, I wonder if he got hurt with these numbers. I don't know. He played 16 games, it's telling us. Only 577 downs played. Our second tight end played more than our third receiver. Whatever works, we had an amazing year it looks like, but not what I expected there for the numbers. And defensively, ooh, big year for Shelby. And Haynes had 10. Not bad, everybody. No Super Bowl this season for us. We came close. We lost in overtime to the Giants in a game that featured 76 total points. So that's what it took this year to knock Martin Menical out of the postseason. Lamar Jackson's now with the Giants. Okay then, Menical, three touchdowns, two picks. Keith Akins, 83 yards. Akins, wasn't he on our team? 
All right, a really strange NFC Championship game here. We got close, but still just one ring for Menacle. We should have some good news, though, when it comes to the developments. And here we see... Superstar for Martin Menacle. Rashad Sheard. He also got Superstar development this year. So I'm guessing the touchdowns were simply enough. On to another season with Martin Menacle and Quinton Boone's now a superstar. Eventually, they're going to have some really tough decisions to keep this team together. Thankfully, I signed Martin Menacle to the most ridiculous contract in NFL history. Seven years right at, like, the minimum salary. And he still has quite a few years on that deal. I expect we'll keep putting up a ton of points every year. Ooh, a hidden dev player, Quinton Watson, 67 overall, 77 speed, 77 strength. All right, another interesting hidden dev player that needs a lot of development. Rajon Wallace, he was hurt back at the Super Bowl week. Complete MCL tear, so he must have suffered that late in the year. He's still going to miss most of this season. By the way, how's kicker Joshua Jarrett doing? I drafted him to hopefully be the long-term kicker, and he's still got some work to do here. Not yet to 80% for a single season. We are back in the postseason, everybody, and another first-round bye, it looks like. A 12-4 season now. So Martin Menacle and the Panthers continue to be incredibly productive and successful year over year. Menacle is now an 85 overall superstar development quarterback. And he's about to upgrade once again. We have three receivers that are at least 89 overall, which is pretty ridiculous. And maybe this year we can go get another ring. I think it's time to return to the Super Bowl. 32 and 6 for Martin Menacle. Solid. And Rashad Sheard, 11.54, 8 touchdowns, not bad. Nobody had an outstanding receiving season this year, and Childress is not getting that much production here over these last couple seasons. We're playing a lot of tight ends. No Super Bowl this year either. Green Bay and Buffalo now. All right. So after winning the Super Bowl, we have not yet returned. We lose back-to-back -back NFC Championship games, this one by 14 points. It definitely feels like our defense has gotten a little worse, but Menacle did have three picks in this game, so that is definitely an issue. He doesn't throw many, so three in one game is pretty rare. wonder if any of those turned into touchdowns. Not in this game. Menacle is still superstar development, and Rashad Sheard has X-Factor now. So many superstars and X-Factors on this team. Perhaps now we'll see Sheard get that elite production with the high average. Why don't we do a little career stat update here while we're at it. Martin Menacle, 140 touchdowns and still less interceptions than the last season of Jameis Winston's career. Don't know how this is even possible. For the running, Rashad Sheard, 32 touchdowns, 4,500 yards, with Garrison Lawry closing in on 10,000 receiving yards. And Willis Sherrod now with 20 interceptions, and Rajon Wallace at 70 sacks, Mike Haynes at 84 and a half. I'm actually really impressed by how much the team is staying together, and I think that's mainly because of the cheap deal from Menacle. When your quarterback is not on this 30 or $40 million contract per year, it becomes very easy to keep everybody else on the team. Hidden Dev Safety, Robert Turbin, 6'4", Hidden Dev, 91 speed, 70 zones. So again, we draft a pretty good safety but our corner situation now might not be quite so strong, especially with Sherrod's decline to just 83 overall. Also, where's Mike Haynes? What happened to Mike Haynes? He is now with the Cleveland Browns, it appears. After the 2037 season, we find ourselves 9-7, our worst year in a while, in the wild card round, but still a playoff team nonetheless, and division champions. 
So maybe there is going to be a bit of decline now for this team. Martin Medical, 33 touchdowns, 12 picks, solid but far from his best season. Rashad Sheard still can't get to four yards a carry. And it looks like there's a new running back we've been playing here, Malik Curry out of South Carolina. Pretty good speed here. Okay, juke and elusiveness. Quinton Boone, big year. Garrison Lawry, not bad. 10 touchdowns for Deion Holmes. So he was drafted quite a while ago, and he's up to 78. And he's still just 25 years old. So I definitely hit on that pick. And if we check his numbers, he's been picking up the production lately. Pretty cool. 13 more sacks for Raphael Shelby and four picks for Martin Sullivan. All right, 61% for Joshua Jarrett, sadly, on field goals. So, can we go further this year? We've lost back-to-back -back NFC Championship games. Nope, not this year. How far did we end up making it? We did not go to the NFC title game. We did win a playoff game, though, so... We're not really having one and duns. We're just not getting all the way through anymore. Rashad Sheard, 75 yards, three touchdowns for Thaddeus Gold. All right, that's another year down for Martin Menical. 2038 is over just like that, and we are back at 13 and 3, everybody. The Panthers are going nowhere. Well, we're going to the playoffs, but you know what I mean, I think. Martin Manical, 42 and 4! Is that the X Factor difference maker right there? I think it very well could be. Yeah, this running game is just not going to get there, I don't think. Sheard puts up decent numbers, but not elite. Quinton Boone continues to be our most productive receiver. Garrison Lawry's play actually went down this year. He played all 16. But now it looks like Childress is overtaking him for snaps. And he's a 92 right now with morale, so it could be that Laurie is the first receiver to go when that time comes. 15 sacks for Ray John Wallace. Excellent. How has his career gone? I know he missed like 14 weeks that one year with the MCL tear, but he has bounced back in a major way. Menical, 215 passing touchdowns. Rashad Sheard, 41 rushing touchdowns. And Lawry, 871 receptions, 82 touchdowns in his career. Rajon Wallace, very close to 100 career sacks. What if we checked on the career leaders for just the whole series? I know we won't recognize most of the names, but I do recognize Eli Leno, who's been in this series now for a very long time. He's almost at 500 touchdown passes. 499 here for Riley Trent of the Seahawks. And nobody else anywhere close. Jose Watson, we saw him in the Super Bowl. 10,000 career yards, 71 touchdowns. Joseph Green had a good game against us in that NFC Championship game. How about, ooh, Keith Akins, 7,700 yards. Again, I think he was on our roster. I recognize that name. I just wish it would show the team here. I've been saying that for a long time. Richie Holt, pretty good numbers there, but Vaughn Pickett has 96 touchdowns, and that is the active lead. We have the second and third spots on our team, though. That's how ridiculous this team is. Darius Reynolds, 70 for the Buccaneers. And Alejandro Martinez, now playing for New England, 76 overall. Not quite the player he once was, but what a career he put together here. And for interceptions, does anybody have more than Sherrod? Yeah, one player, Alfonso Wesley. Huh, it doesn't seem like there are any super high quality kickers in our league. Nobody over 84%. Kicking is one of those positions I want to look at a bit more in the stats and the XP sliders. Because in game, like, no one's better than an 85. And that's okay if 85 overall kickers are giving you elite seasons. 
but you need to get to the point where players have elite seasons. That's why I don't worry about certain positions being too low, like if there aren't enough 90 overall quarterbacks, because players in the 80s will put up that elite production anyway, so I don't think it's super necessary. But certainly this is an eye-opener at kicker. We don't make it to the Super Bowl this year after our great season. Wonder if we made it to the NFC title game. We certainly did and have lost three straight. Alright, we gotta get back to the Super Bowl one of these seasons, I'd imagine. Martin Manicle is officially an X-Factor quarterback. I missed that earlier. And still, we've kept most of the offensive line around. We have superstar receivers, three of them, and a superstar running back. Incredible stuff here in the series, everybody. It's been a lot of fun to see this develop. 2039 is over just like that, and the Panthers have gone 10-6 this season. So, yet another playoff appearance. Martin Menickel gets 30 touchdowns and 10 picks, but at this point, he already has Superstar X Factor. It cannot go down in this game, so he's basically set. Still, the throw power has not advanced beyond 81, which is a little surprising. I thought we'd get a couple more boosts in that department. But overall, Martin Menickel has gone from undrafted 49 overall to one of the top quarterbacks in the league. It's certainly possible. I just didn't realize how fast it could all happen. But I'm sure that what I had happen in this series was not very likely. It takes a really good team around a quarterback to get them to have those kind of stats. I wonder if scheme also plays a role in that. There are a lot of factors at play. I think we just ended up with the perfect situation here. No Super Bowl this season. Alright, the Vikings, they made it. Can Minnesota go get their Super Bowl ring? We did not end up winning a playoff game this year, sadly. Vikings won, there you go. Super Bowl 74 goes to Minnesota, finally. Matt Wakefield, still quarterback of the Miami Dolphins. Nick Bonham, quarterback of the Vikings. They had Kerry Ross at running back. I don't recognize anybody on the Vikings team at all. After the 2040 campaign, for the first time in Martin Menickel's career, the Panthers have missed the postseason under very weird circumstances. We went 10-6, but third place in the division. One of the top non-playoff seasons. We had the ninth, tied for ninth, or actually tied for eighth best win percentage, and still did not get in. Not even sure how many years we are into this now, but Menickel had another fantastic season, 37 touchdowns this time, and now he has reached the point of regression. And now we're just waiting on retirement, I guess. All the accuracies are maxed out at 99. He's made it to eight Pro Bowls. Fantastic stuff. Rashad Sheard, 1,100 yards. Quinton Boone, over 1,000 once again. Looks like Garrison Lawry is no longer on this team. Rajon Wallace, 12 and a half sacks. He's got to be over 100 now in his career. Oh yeah, he's at 114. One interception too. Martin Menicle is now a 92 overall quarterback, and that might be the highest overall he's able to reach now that he is at age 29. Oh! He was also named MVP of the league, alright then. So a great accolade for Menicle, a great career. I'm hoping to see one more ring before this is all done with. If we check out the contract situation, he's been signed to a long-term extension, and obviously it's for a little bit more money. 2041 is now complete, and at 11-5, we win the division once again with Martin Menicle. Maybe his overall went up once this season? Depends. I don't know if he was actually that close. What happened? Martin Menicle. Knee cartilage tear. He's going to miss a few weeks. And we're in the postseason. So now, all of a sudden, 
Dylan Rogan is the quarterback of this team. Who's Dylan Rogan? He is the highest rated quarterback we could have on the team right now, so... I guess Medical could come back. All we gotta do is make it to the Super Bowl. 33 touchdowns for Martin Menical. We had three quarterbacks play. Four scores for Rogan. Four scores for Ray McGee. All right. So, overall, 41 touchdowns for the offense. In the air, anyway. Rashad sheared over 1,000 yards again. Quinton Boone. I feel like every year he puts up these stats. Just over 1,000 around double-digit touchdowns. This is all he does here. So steady. We're not a great pass rushing team now. It looks like we've lost a lot of those players, including Rajon Wallace. All right, we're advancing to the Super Bowl. Do we return now? Nope. Chicago made it. How far did we make it without Martin Menekel this season? We did not make it to the NFC title game, but we did win our wild card game. Or no, we didn't play our wild card game. So... We lose by five to the Atlanta Falcons. Dylan Rogan did his best, but it just wasn't enough. And the quest for a second ring continues. Here is regression. Quinton Boone losing 33. No, Jaden Childress down 20. I don't like regression. How about quarterback Martin Manicle? He's not here. Too good to regress here at age 30. So maybe we will see him get a little bit higher in overall. Nine Pro Bowls now for him. And he's been in the league for nine years. The tenth year for Martin Menekel is now over. And the Panthers went 9-6-1 in 2042. We're back in the postseason with yet another division title. And here's a look at our roster now. Just under 10 years of simming. I'm impressed that we even have Childress, Sheard, and Boone still on the roster, but also Savage and Kelly along the offensive line, with Deion Holmes playing tight end. That is a pretty good core to keep around for a decade. And on defense, things have certainly changed quite a bit. Looks like Miner, Edwards, and Shelby are the only starters that I actually acquired in this series. Martin Manical was elite once again, throwing 42 touchdowns, which I believe is a new career high. Rashad Sheard was not bad at all. And receiving, Jaden Childress had the really big season. Boone just under 1,000 yards, and Deion Holmes with 12 more touchdowns. Martin Menekel now has 357 touchdown passes in his career. And running, Rashad Sheard, 10,767. And Quinton Boone, 100 plus touchdowns, 1,000 catches, 12,000 yards. Definitely Hall of Fame caliber stuff. Eli Leno has 611 touchdowns now. And he's now playing with the LA Rams at 73 overall. That is a lot of touchdowns. For running, Jose Watson, 13,000 yards on the ground. Receiving, Vaughn Pickett, 14K. Looks like Laurie has retired. I never saw the end of his career numbers. I wish they'd store that kind of stuff somewhere. Hey, we're back in the Super Bowl all of a sudden at 9, 6, and 1. All right. Can we get the second ring for Martin Manical now? Oh, come on. You didn't think I was just going to simulate the entire game like that, did you? I think it's time to get back into the game action now. And maybe we'll watch a little bit of this Super Bowl and see Martin Manical now, the veteran quarterback. Let's pick up this action in the second half. Unfortunately, the Panthers have yet to get on the scoreboard, but the Jets only hold a 9 to nothing lead. The game is still for the taking if we can get some offense going. And there is Martin Menekel under center. I refuse to believe we only ran 13 plays in the first half. There is no way. Here's Menekel on target! Let's go! Out to the 44 of New York on that connection with Quinton Boone. 
Play action now for Martin Manacle. Going deep. Let's go. Inside the 15. It's Boone. Play fake. Manacle to the end zone. And he got picked off. No. We had a good drive going there. But the Panthers stay scoreless. Come on, we've got to get some points eventually. The Jets. Ooh, what happened? Well, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. I simmed like 14 plays in the matter of one and a half seconds. But we score a touchdown. We take over after a failed Jets drive. Carolina on the move. We have to punt from there? Big drive here for the Jets. They're on the edge of field goal range. And... They do not attempt a 53-yard field goal. So Martin Menicle and the Panthers take over down two. Motion here for Menicle. Fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. He airs it out and this is incomplete. Menicle faces the blitz and the pass gets knocked down. If that ball just gets through cleanly, we probably have a chance to get some good yards after the catch. Not sure what happened to the Super Bowl logo, by the way. We're in Super Bowl 70-something now, I believe. Third and ten, Menacle on target. First down, Carolina. Here's Menacle on a third down, and the short throw does not get the job done. I really hope we're going for it right here. We're inside of New York territory. I don't think those exclamation points are a good thing. What do those mean? We run and get it. First down, Carolina. A lot of superstars on this defense. A couple X-Factors on the front four. That's tough. First down for Carolina. Under four to go in the game. Menacle. Why do we keep throwing this wheel route? It's picked off. Come on. That's like the third time. The Jets are close to ending this game. They're inside the 10. They run the clock down and kneel it out to win a 9-7 Super Bowl. All right, that was a weird game. Was hoping to see Menacle get ring number two, but not today. Following the Super Bowl loss, this is the regression our team gets. Loss of 44 for Quentin Boone, 33 for Jaden Childress, Lewis Edwards down 22. How about quarterback Martin Menicle? Still none? Martin Menicle is still a 93 overall quarterback at age 31, and I can't believe he has yet to regress. We have again returned to the postseason after a 12-4 campaign with Martin Manicle. Did the overall go up from 93? Currently at 94, not too bad. Let's see if the production has dropped off at all. I know we don't have the same depth at receiver, but we're still getting a lot of wins. We still have a very high rated offense, and Manicle puts in a very respectable 30-9 campaign. We run the ball fairly well, a thousand yards again for Rashad Sheard, Boone back over a thousand, Childress not far away from that. And how about the pass rush here? We have Quinton Watson getting 14 sacks. He's in year eight, star dev. No Super Bowl this year. Super Bowl 78 features Dallas and Jacksonville. How far did our season go this time? We lost in the divisional round to the Cowboys. Okay, 26 to 21. I'm starting to think Menacle's only going to get the one ring. Also now we have to consider when he may retire, but I don't think I've seen a quarterback retire with this high of an overall. And obviously he's a couple of years away from really thinking he might. So is this a situation where Menacle could play until he's 40? because the ratings have yet to go down. 
Quentin Boone has now retired after a fantastic career. I think 114 touchdowns. Pretty impressive. So we're going to see a very different team here around Martin Menicle. This is the offense in 2044. Wide receiver is now completely different. Our number one wideout is 79 overall veteran Jerron Addison from Southern Miss. All right, we're going to need to develop these receivers. We do have a hidden dev rookie here in Jeffrey Lamar from UTSA. All right, nice route running skills, really good. Wow. So, let's see what the future of this team looks like. Well, we did not make the playoffs in 2044, going just 7-9, and nine, which didn't surprise me given the state of the offense and how much receiver talent we had lost. Still, Martin Manicle's numbers are pretty good, and now this series might kind of get reversed, where we're trying to use a great quarterback to develop some young receivers instead of Martin Menicle playing around all these great players to get his production early on. So Jeffrey Lamar will hopefully be one of the receivers we count on moving forward. Looks like his catching rating went up significantly as a rookie from 69 to 80. So he should be a cornerstone player, I'd imagine. Menicle now has 100 career interceptions with 14 or 418 career touchdown passes and 15 touchdown runs. Now I wonder if Sheard retires. Well, it finally happened. Martin Menicle regressed, losing three points at age 33. How do players not regress? How can I replicate this for other players in other series? This is amazing. I've never seen anything like it or at least noticed it. He's still a 93. At the end of 2045, we unfortunately missed the playoffs for a second straight year, going 7-8-1. Marginal improvement over a 7-9 campaign. Here we go again with Martin Menicle, the superstar quarterback. We have three star caliber receivers though. So things could begin to turn around here in the second half of Menicle's career. We're definitely in the second half. I'm just not sure how far we are from the end, given the regression, or lack thereof. Martin Menicle regressed a little bit more this year at age 34. He lost 14 total points, but his overall is still in the 90s. Martin Menicle is 34 years old, and currently, this is his contract. It is the final year, and I'm not going to intervene here. Whatever happens, happens. After a couple years of missing the playoffs, we are back. And we have won the NFC South yet again, going 10 and 6. We've had to build up a new team here, essentially, with a new core of players. We have a couple receivers who look like they're off to impressive starts here with the Panthers. Menicle is still really good. We have a new running back, Jay Woods from Washington State. 89 yards or 89 speed 75 break tackle 76 elusiveness Overall, I think the offense is in pretty good shape But the defense is certainly far from where it was when we began this episode 30 and 11 for Martin Menicle this season Jay Woods 575 we had two running backs get a lot of carries this season and Jerron Addison had over a thousand yards. Jeffrey Lamar wasn't too bad. And how about that, everybody? We've returned to the third Super Bowl now with Martin Menicle, and we take on the Cleveland Browns. Welcome to the Super Bowl, everybody, where in the second half, this game is tied at 10. Martin Menicle trying to win the second ring of his career. It's been a long time since his rookie season when he did win. A Super Bowl as an undrafted free agent rookie. And now, 13 or 14, however many years it's been, Martin Menicle's trying to get a second Super Bowl ring. And right now the Panthers lead in the third quarter. Let's see what happens here as the Browns do tie the game. Here we have a drive from Carolina. And can they get this in the end zone? There you go, Martin Manical throws a touchdown. It's a seven point game. 
Just keep them out of the end zone. That's all we need here. Three and a half minutes to go in the Super Bowl. Browns run and cannot convert a third and inches. Fourth down. This could be game here for Cleveland. And they run. And they don't get it. Martin Medical retakes the field. And the Panthers have a chance to end it. We are so close, everybody. Carolina runs for the first down, and that's going to do it. Martin Manicle, now a two-time Super Bowl champion. And there is your MVP, Jawan Brown, who had three sacks in the Super Bowl. Fantastic. So that's two for Manicle, but who's to say his career is nearly complete? He's hardly regressed. We may have a chance for a few more of these. At age 35, Martin Menekel is now down 17 more points. He is an 87 overall quarterback, entering year 15. Now the Panthers try to go back to back. We have made it once again as NFC South champions. We'll face the Packers here in the first round. Menical, 38 touchdowns this year, and I think a career high in picks. 14 is a lot more than we're used to him throwing, and that indeed is the most ever. Jerron Addison had a lot of success this year. 1,200, 12 touchdowns, and he's up to star dev, and those route runnings have come up in a major way. 512 touchdowns now for Martin Menical, and perhaps... No signs of him retiring anytime soon. He's currently ninth all time for passing touchdowns between Packers legend Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. We did beat the Packers in the wildcard round, but that was the only playoff victory this season, so no back to back. Martin Menekel now with more serious regression, losing 30 points in this one off season. That could definitely have a huge impact on the rest of his play. Martin Menekel is only an 82 overall at age 36. What kind of a contract is he currently on here with the Panthers? He's in the final year of his deal. It's another playoff run here for Martin Menekel. You gotta wonder if this could be the last of his career with how regression is happening. A pretty good year though, 33-6. But this might be his last season with his overall in the 80s. Jerron Addison, though, we brought him in. And with a few great seasons, he's gone all the way to X-Factor. Really cool. Even if a player doesn't have a great start to their career, one thing I love about the modern Maddens here, and Madden 20 specifically, is a couple great years, one great year, can make a huge difference. Menical now has 545 touchdowns, 63,000 yards, and 24 rushing scores. The Panthers could not get out of the first round, losing badly here to the New York Giants. Not a very good day for Martin Menical. Oh, wait a minute. Have I reached the very end of franchise mode? I thought about that. 2048 is as far as we can go. And can I even see rosters anymore? I can. But this is not our team. I cannot go any further here in the series. Unfortunately, we'll never see Menekel make it to the Hall of Fame or retire because we've reached the end of franchise mode. It only goes 30 seasons. I'm not sure why. But that is it. I feel like Martin Menekel, if he was given a few more years, he could have gotten pretty high in some of these categories. He ends up one of the top 10 all-time passing touchdown leaders with 545. He also ends up with the second most legacy score out of all quarterbacks. 26 yearly awards, 3 NFC championships, and two Super Bowl rings. There you have it, everybody. What a career for Martin Menekel. And this was a really fun series to experiment with. I wasn't sure what would happen,
but I definitely didn't expect this. I think that about wraps it up, though. Very fun time here with the series, everybody. Thank you for all your support on it. I know a lot of you have found the channel through this series, and definitely, if you like content like this, check out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers rebuild, and stay tuned, because I'll have more coming to the channel. I, of course, will be starting something new, and I know what my next experiment here is going to be. Not sure how this one's gonna go, it is definitely a lot weirder than this one. But please leave your feedback down below, what did you think of this series? And if you had a good time, just let me know what you enjoyed about this series overall. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.